Hey guys, it's Amanda and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute decorative coffee mug using a super simple hydro dipping technique. To do this technique, all you need is a bucket of water, some spray paint, and your creativity. So if you would like to see how I decorated this coffee mug, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so to start off, you're going to want to tape off the mug where you don't want the paint to be. I chose to expose the middle part of the mug to paint, but you can come up with any design that you like. Just make sure the tape is very secure to the mug. Next, you're going to want to apply a base to your mug for the paint to adhere to. I chose this flat white paint made by Rust-Oleum to give the colors that I'm using some vibrancy. Just apply this using a sweeping motion to maintain an even application around the mug. Next, you're going to want to start to prep the dipping bucket by filling it up a little over halfway with water. Clearly, I've used this bucket a few times. Next, you're going to want to choose the spray paint colors that you want to use. I chose this light blue shade by Rust-Oleum, this mambo pink shade by Krylon, and this yellow shade by Rust-Oleum. And all you want to do is spray each color of spray paint directly into the middle of the bucket as it creates those rings around the bucket. And you're going to want to keep doing that until the bucket is completely full of paint. And also, don't be afraid to use too little of paint. A little paint can go a long way. And honestly, I think in this case, I might have used a little bit too much paint because it started to loop up in the end. And after your bucket is completely full of paint, you just want to take maybe an old pencil and start creating designs within the paint, just dragging it to the outer corners. If you drag it from the outwards inwards, it will start to remove the paint from the bucket. Once you're happy with your design, you're going to want to dip the coffee mug in at a 45 degree angle to ensure even coverage of the paint. And once you get it in there, you're going to want to take a piece of cardboard or anything and just remove the paint from around the bucket to get it out of the way of the mug so it doesn't gloop up onto the mug. And once you've done that, just give the mug a little bit of a shake and pull it out. Also, if you did find that you might have used a little bit too much paint in the bucket because it's starting to gloop up on the mug, don't worry. Just use that piece of cardboard or whatever you use to get the paint away from the mug and just lightly smooth out the edges and it honestly gives a really cool texture to it. After you've given the paint some time to dry, you do want to apply a top coat. I'm just using this Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Top Coat where you can use whatever works best for you. Now it's time for the most satisfying part of the entire process, which is removing the tape. Go ham sandwich if you want, but as soon as you start getting to where the edges of the paint and where the tape connect, you do want to take your time and remove it slowly because you can rip off a little piece of paint and you really don't want to do that. But in this case, it really doesn't matter because we are going to embellish those edges anyways. Now that we have all the tape removed, now it's time to decorate. 
The embellishments I'm going to be using to decorate this mug are going to be these beautiful rainbow crystals and these beautiful pearl stickers. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these rainbow crystals right at the edges of where the handle meets the mug. And then I'm going to start adding some of those white pearls around and then I'll add another rainbow crystal and then I'll add some more pearls. And I just kept this pattern going until it was completely around the mug. to decorate this mug I do need something to hold them in there so I decided to fill the mug about halfway full of this beautiful sea glass that I found at my local craft store and to finish this decorative coffee mug off I'm going to be placing these beautiful fake flowers into the mug I've already pre-cut them to size and all you're gonna want to do is stick them in there and then start fluffing them up until you're happy with the appearance of them And that is going to be all for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make this decorative coffee mug for you. Please don't forget to like this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my brand new YouTube channel. If you have any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.